capability is fundamentally about driving change. And whilst it's useful to think about the levers that you need in order to drive capability, it's also useful to think about the stages of a change journey. Um, and we think there are kind of five that are useful to, 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 to see change through the lens of. The first is, is, is making sure that there is people really feel the need for the change that you are going to create. So, and quite often you need to create that, that need. It's sitting with a small group of people and you need to create the story and make it really clear what's in it for teams inside the organisation, what's in it for the company, what's in it for the people who you serve, what's in it for the customers who you serve. The second element, and this almost happens at the same time, is understanding where the fear is. And just understanding what the triggers and barriers are to that can really help you frame the need in the right way and to make those triggers and barriers kind of disappear in the, in, in the nicest way possible. The third phase is then making sure the organisation gets uh, the change and really understands it. And for that, you need a really compelling and emotive vision and story that people can uh, buy into. You've got to keep telling that story. And again, it's, 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 we see it quite often that the CMO will tell the story once or twice and then think, job done. It's a story they've got to keep coming back to for a year, for two years. You need to create the roadmap for the vision with the people who will be the change, who are going to mark the change, who are going to de help deliver the change. It's quite helpful to name the change and manage it almost like a brand. Quite useful also to identify the big symbols that signal this is going to be different this time. And for example, changing the way that things get measured. So if you're looking to become more brand orientated, putting an equity measure into your balance scorecard, measuring value rather than just volume, that starts to signal this is a bit different to the world of, of, of kind of a, for example, a volume world. And then ensure there's clarity on what the teams need to do um, uh, and, and, and what and how is going to be shared, the frameworks, the tools, the ways of working, the metrics. So that's need, fear, get. Then it's into doing it. And for that, you need to make sure you've got a few quick wins and there are fast benefits that people can see, that are tangible, that they'll talk about. Focus capability on a few big things that people can really get their heads around. Quite often that's how we're planning together because that's where the organisation most frequently sort of comes together and works together. What are the behavioural KPIs? What is it that we do and don't do? You need to track the change and spot the issues and accelerate change at the right time. The leaders absolutely need to lead by example. It's not a, it's, it doesn't, can't be mandated. It needs to, but the leaders need to show genuine, break, genuine unbreakable passion for the change that is, is, is being driven. You've got to be real about the fact that there's going to be some short-term decisions that don't quite sit with a long-term direction. And that's fine and that's real, but you just need to acknowledge them uh, and, 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 and treat people as, as, as adults. Focus on early adopters. Make sure you kind of find the nicest way of sort of sidelining the critics and, and managing them. And then identify the champions, those capable of infecting others, regardless of, of, of seniority. This doesn't want to be sort of, don't think of it as just top down. So that's need, fear, get, do. And the last bit is, is, is then living it. And here, the right coaching, spotting the people doing the right things and celebrating what they're doing. Analyzing where things aren't quite right, but don't, you're not looking to demonize it, but you're just looking to course correct as you go. Do you have consequences for those who deliberately undermine uh, the change? And again, quite often that's a big early signal that, um, uh, that, that you're serious uh, about the change. And the organization will know which ones aren't really uh, swimming in the same direction and it's sometimes useful to, to call those out and, and, and manage them properly. Um, and then use smart risk-taking to accelerate specific aspects of the change uh, so that you've got the right pace going through the change. So five, five elements. You don't have to do all of it, but it's just being conscious of the stages, the need, the fear, the get, the do, the live, and making sure that you're playing those consciously as you go through the change.